Hey everyone, today I've got, well, two little pieces of opalite here, and I know it's not real stone, but hey, it's pretty, and let's see if it cuts. Okay? I find a stone and take it home and polish it and hope it shines, and also there's a chicken. Hey everyone, this is Clayton, and like I said, I got two pieces of opalite here. And this is like an opalized glass. Uh, it's considered a man-made gemstone. So let's take a little quick look at it. Well, look at them, both of them. How's that? Uh, zoom, zoom, zoom in there. And, you know, the stuff isn't... It's actually kind of pretty. It's got this opalescent additions to it that makes it look sort of like a opal. Sometimes it's considered some type of moonstone. Let's take a look at the little clear one. And it's kind of kind of nifty. I've seen them cut and I've seen them tumbled. These are two pieces of tumbled. And it's actually kind of, it's, it's pretty. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's pretty stuff. But I have always been curious as to how it cuts, considering that it's glass. I know we can cut glass, but, you know, it's not something that I do on a regular basis. And, you know, like this piece has, you may be able to see it there. There's some, like, red fire in the, red fire in there. And, well, best thing we could do is just take it over the wheel and see what happens if we cut it. All right, so to the wheel. Okay, as you can see, I am not on the big aggressive wheel. I'm just going to see what happens with this on the, the 600 grit. Because, of course, it's, it is a glass, and I'm not sure the, how it's going to react to something. I'm on, there's the water, finally. Okay, let's get that going here. I'm not sure how it's going to react on the heavy, the heavily cutting wheel. So we're going to try it on this first and see what, what happens. So let me put an edge on here. Boy, that is a tiny piece. Hmm. Okay, it seems to be cutting somewhat nicely. Boy, that's hard to get to. That thing being so itty bitty tiny whiny. If I can get some shape going here. Yeah, I'm not sure about how hard this glass is. I can't imagine it being tempered glass. Hmm. It seems to be working somewhat like stone. Focus. Yeah, I'm getting an edge put on there. Yeah, I don't think it would have worked exceptionally well on the on the 80 grit aggressive wheel. Tell you what, I'm gonna set this one down and we're gonna go to to this one. I think I'm just gonna attack this as if it would be any other type of stone. So I'm gonna maybe start with an edge here. I said I have no clue how this stuff cuts, how it works, how it looks cut. Let's see if I can get some sort of shape going here. Hmm, boy, fingers aren't working too well today. Everything's still cold. Okay, let's focus. Seems like this part is really cloudy, so I'm going to use that as the back. I think I'm just going to flatten that back out some. I'm going to definitely have to rough it up a little bit to try to get it onto a stick. It's so smooth, since it's completely polished all over, it's hard to hold on to. Hmm. 
times that I did try to do something with glass on here, I had to be exceptionally careful because it seemed like the glass was chipping. Let's see if I can get some kind of drop shape out of this teardrop. focus yep yeah that's looking pretty good let me see if I can put some kind of dome on there now yeah I've seen some bigger pieces of this opalite and you gotta admit it's very pretty stuff Sometimes it doesn't matter if it's a, an expensive stone, just as long as it's pretty. Yeah, I'm trying to dome this small piece as being actually pretty darn interesting. Meaning it hard as crap. <clears throat> yeah, this is definitely going to have to go into a stick. Absolutely going to have to go into a stick. And it doesn't seem to be like cutting the color out of it or the opalescent. Ugh. Where was I there? It doesn't seem to be cutting the color or opalescence out of it. Looks very white on the camera. Let's see. Yep, very white. Hmm. Well, I think I'm just spinning my wheels here. I'm gonna flatten this back out a little bit more or take it down. Hmm. It takes a little bit. Oh, and while I got you here. I got another email from Mrs. Clock. Yep. And this time she is, wait for it. You're not gonna believe this one. Yep, that's her. She's hang gliding over the Fission Jordan, I, I can't pronounce it, active volcanic field in Sweden or Norway or somewhere. She didn't quite mention exactly where it was, but she just mentioned the name of the volcano, which I still can't pronounce. But I'm like, yeah, and I thought the spacewalk was crazy. But yep, Mrs. Cluck is still doing, doing her thing. Uh, it's gonna take a bit here. Oh, it's tiny. Okay. Okay, I think I got that back one there, flattened out pretty good. Focus. I'm not sure if I'm going to even mess with this one just because of how flipping small it is. I guess I could pick a side. Pick a side and see if I can flatten it out enough to get it on a, on a dop stick. <laughs> okay, focus. Oof. Ah. Wow, now I can't even tell which side it was flattening. I think it was this one. Or was it the other one? I think it was this one. Try it again. Yeah, I think it would have been too rough on the other one, but this one's just not quite aggressive enough. It's aggressive, but it's just not uh, taking it down as quick as one would hope. <sighs> but... Yeah, we'll set this one off to the side. To the side. Okay, I'll take this one over to the desk. And I'll get it on a stick. And then we'll be back and see what we can do with it. So don't go away. Okay, I'm back. I got the super tiny stick of tininess to put this on. 
and it was quite interesting getting on there that's for sure let's get this going and that going and he wants to place bets whether it falls off or not hopefully i got that back roughed up enough we're going to be gentle with it gentil i'm gonna have to get through the wax oh wow it seems to be cutting a lot better with a stick Yes, I shall definitely put a nice edge on this. That's not too bad. I don't like that side very much. Gotta completely smooth it out. Because I can. see what the shape looks like shapes looking nice just need to get a little bit more of an arc around that drop shape okay what do we got focus looking pretty good all righty so let me start putting a putting a dome on here I'm going to repeat myself again I really think it would have been too aggressive on the other wheel I just have to take a little bit more time on this finer wheel to do what I need to do. Hmm. Then say that this doesn't seem to have any smell whatsoever. With every every stone that I cut, there is a slight odor. No matter what it is, even quartz has just slight smell to it. Some of them are very, actually freaking stinky. But this doesn't seem to have any, any smell whatsoever. Hmm. Okay, let me see if I can work that dome. Oh, of course I'm working the dome. Working the dome the whole time. Take a look, focus. Sort of has a greenish color to it. It's picking up the smell. Yeah, the smell. Good grief. Nah. Picking up the color from underneath it. The color of the green. Why are you not focusing? There you go. You definitely have to do the twirly swirly on this one. Might end up being a nice little, nice little stone or man-made stone thingy. I say I don't know how valuable this stuff is. Wow, that's looking pretty nice. I don't like this here. I'm gonna have to work that edge down a little bit more. I'm quite, I'm sort of interested in the man-made stones. Yeah, you know, I'm just curious to see how they cut and polish. I mean, man-made diamonds are good. There's man-made diamonds on these wheels. As long as it's pretty, that, that's what counts. Okay, let's take a... Focus. Hello? There. Let's take a look at it this way. Oh, wow. Yeah, that dome's pretty nice. Okay, well, let's go off of this wheel. And over to the noisier wheel. There, so let's get... Oh, that valve is still... I haven't fixed it. 
three years from now, I'll be cutting the stone and I'll say, oh, that valve's tough, I haven't fixed it yet. Because sometimes that's how I roll. Oh, there I'm getting a smell. What the heck? Hmm, that's weird. There may have been some residual stuff from the last stone on the wheel. I zoomed in a little closer because of the stone being so small. That might be why the uh, angle is a little off. <clears throat> I don't mind things being a little off because I'm a little off myself. Dude, no one asked you. Freaking chicken anyway. see what we what white clean fast okay focus okay that's looking nice and smooth really not seeing any facets or anything on there looks like there was some sort of tiny gnarly on top let's see if I can get that out with this okay, let's take a look Focus. It's right in there somewhere, and I think it's gone now. Give that a couple more swirlies. Why don't you focus? Mm. What happens when you're zoomed in too much? Alrighty, I think I can move to the next wheel. Wow, this is zinging along there quick. And this is not going to be long at all in this. Not at all. There's still the carving I never finished. Maybe we'll have to change it to Unfinished Carving Studios. Yeah, that would instill confidence in our customers. Okie dokie, what do we got? A blur. Okay, that's... Ooh, what the heck is all over that? Not showing up on the with the naked eye, but I can see it on the... Nope, I can see it too. I wonder if that's a reflection from the bottom. Hmm. I can feel something with my fingernail. I didn't see that on the last wheel. Focus. Okay, it seems to be some... Actually, seems to be scratches in there. I can't feel it with my fingernail. Well, I tell you what. The only way we're going to find out what that is, or if it's still going to be there, is take this over on to... Focus. Cerium Oxide. Okay, and see if those come out. That's going to be the telltale. So, meet me at the desk over there when I'm done over here. All right. Ooh, all righty. Well, I just got this off the... Get over there. That's not the rag I want. There. Got this off cerium oxide wheel. So, and let's take a look at this now. I'm... Rather pleased. Okay, that is really, really nicely polished. You know, and I took my, I just took these. I wonder if that'll work. Oh, yeah, that's magnified. Too many lights to be able to see it correctly, though. But I looked, looked at it under that, and I'm going to look again.
Yeah, there's no scratches in that at all. There's no scratches in that at all. All that we were seeing must have been some type of reflection from there or very minor scratches that was in, in the thing that the serum oxide took out. So let's see if we can use the removal knife of destiny. And I'm going to go put this in the snow. I'll be right back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, there's snow on it. What that does is make it cold. Ha ha ha, look at that. You make it cold, that'll come right off of the stick, right off the wax. We shall sheath the knife of destiny. And take a look at this shear. Okay, as you see, that bottom's pretty... Let me get the light there. Maybe. Yeah, that bottom needs to be fixed. So I am going to fix that, and I shall be right back. Oh, okay. That was quite interesting. Um, hold on, I got stuff everywhere here. This thing is so small, as you can see. I was pushing it against the wheel with my fingers, the uh, cerium oxide wheel, and it flew out, and I spent the last 25 minutes looking for it. Yes. But I found it. So here's what we got. You can see the backs. I could have probably got a little bit better on the back, it looks pretty smooth, even from the reflection there you can see, but <coughs> I, just, I was afraid to lose it again. So as you can see, the stone looks pretty nice. Ooh, well, let's see how it looks real close. We've got, ooh, I don't want to go that direction. It, hopefully you can see with from there maybe. We still got some of that fire and stuff in there. It actually picked up a lot more red. And you can see that red flying across there. And you can see that spot of red. See if it focus this close. Maybe not. It still has some some of that iridescence in there. Not as good as it did before. Let me grab that other one. It's the one that we didn't... The one that was really clear. The entire stone seems to have changed since I cut it. It's got red fire in it. It seems to have lost some of that iridescence but I mean you turn it that way it goes super white you turn it there you got that red flash that goes across hmm which is pretty I mean it's still pretty it's interesting because it changed but I think this would really make a nice ring it really reflects what's underneath it regardless whether it's glass stone or whatever this tiny little Stone here is definitely a win. So if you like the video, hit the bell, hit the button down there, subscribe to the channel, and hitting the bell, you know, that'll tell you when I'm doing this stuff. You know, all this kind of craziness with God knows what. But yeah, that's actually pretty darn nice. Yep, I may cut more of these. But... Hey, thank you for spending some time with me and have a good evening.